Coach Ward had every reason to be optimistic about the 1984 season. He had a mature ball club, talented both offensively and defensively. Dennis Livingston put together 10 wins and finished his career with a school record 33 victories. But John Farrell became the ace of the staff with 12 wins and 8 complete games. Pete and Camellia had another banner year, hitting 352 and breaking his own school record for home runs with 29 and runs batted in with 103. In Camellia led the nation in RBIs and was a first team All-America. Livingston and Gary Green were both first round draft choices. Livingston went to the Dodgers and Green went to San Diego after playing for the United States in the 1984 Summer Olympics. The talented Cowboys rolled to another Big 8 championship. Regional, Oklahoma State stumbled against the Chiefs of Oklahoma City University, but OSU regrouped and beat Texas A&M, followed by two wins over the Chiefs. The optimism expressed by Coach Ward five months ago was rewarded with another trip to the College Baseball World Series. There were so many great teams in the country, but Oklahoma State's program was on solid ground and they could compete with anybody in the nation. Maine had an excellent team led by future Major League hurler Billy Swift. Oklahoma State beat Swift and Maine 9 to 5. After a loss to Arizona State, the Cowboys faced elimination at the hands of New Orleans. But a dramatic, run-producing ninth-inning double by Incavilla gave the Cowboys an 8-7 win and a tremendous emotional lift. Oklahoma State jumped on Texas for 12 runs in the first two innings. It was obvious Oklahoma State had a tremendous offensive team. Next up was Cal State Fullerton. The game was hampered by rain. The weather created a change in mentality for OSU. The Cowboys never got on track and lost to Fullerton, a team that went on to win the national championship. Oklahoma State had to settle for third in the nation. I think 84 leaves me angry. Uh, in 81, we changed the recruiting philosophy. This was the, the time it's supposed to come to fruition. Uh, we're in a situation now where we have the kind of people to play and maybe we've gotten enough tournament experience to say that we belong and and other coaches around the country are calling oklahoma state one of the top 10 programs in the country we've gained respect the regular season has become just a passing of time in order to get to the playoffs the big eight championships no longer important it's time it's time to win and and uh, i felt pressure and i felt anger when it uh, when i didn't accomplish it because we'd won two national titles in junior college and damn it it was time it's our turn we'd earned it we paid our dues those are the kind of feelings you had, and it took a lot of the joy out of coaching, I guess. And I'm still angry when I left. And I'm still angry about it today, because it was probably our best ball club. 